What, as a captain, what's your message for this team as they go into this first game? Oh, man. Well, right now we're just taking it one day at a time, um, just being where our feet are, um, being in the present. And, uh, you know, when game day comes, you know, game day's going to come. But right now we're just living in the moment. Um, you know, we just got done with practice, going to see what we did right, see what we did, what we could have done better, and uh, just take it from there. Where do you think you can take your game this season, working on JG and Nick? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I definitely feel like, you know, I, I could, you know, personally do great things, uh, just continue to do my job at a very high level. Um, you know, that's the plan each and every year. Um, so for me, it's just continuing to add on that, continuing to, to get better as a, you know, player, but person or in all other type of, uh, you know, realms I can get better at. One of the things that makes a great leader is having uh, the ability to make others around you better. The coach told us that, I think it was yesterday. Maybe speak on that, why that's important, why that's important to you, what do you see it? Yeah, um, you know, you're only as good as your weakest link, you know, in, in NFL football, especially, uh, you know, in football because they always try to, um, you know, see what your weaknesses are and then go after that. So just having the ability to, of course, teach, um, you know, first and foremost, it starts with, you know, doing your own job the right way. And then from there, um, teaching players, what, who, however it is, um, questions about, you know, um, route concepts, down and distances, um, just knowing what type of, um, you know, routes or what type of concepts we can get based on personnel, based on down and distance, and just kind of explaining that. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, just playing football, playing your rules, and uh, just going and playing ball. Something that you're going to remember long after you're gone, maybe more than the games, the wins, the accolades, is what you did for other guys around you. Yeah, I mean, of course, you, uh, you know, you know, of course, it all starts with your your personal goals and aspirations. So um, that that, of course, I feel like matters uh, the most. But then it comes to, of course, being on the field with you know whoever it is, whatever players there are, trying to get them better. Um, you know, we always talk about, or I always talk about, you know, each and every year it's a whole different set of group, a whole different set of players. Um, so just understanding those guys, getting to know, you know, your, your new players, getting to know your teammates because, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's who you want to play for, that's who you want to win for, your brothers, and um, just continuing to, to work on those things and um, ultimately playing, playing great football. To the world mentality at all within this team right now, considering what how the outside world perceives what this team is going to be. Yeah, I mean personally, I don't I don't really go into what the outside world thinks because I know at the end of the day, what only really matters is the guys that are in the building, the guys that are putting the work in each and every day. Because we know, um, you know, we can we can tell what could happen because we're in that group. Um, I know there's a lot of things out in the media or or from different sources, um, but at the end of the day, you know, we, we don't pay attention to that because, um, you know, a lot of times it's just people's opinions and, you know, I can go out there and, and say an opinion and, you know, it won't mean anything, you know, so <clears throat> it only matters with the guys who are in the building, the guys who are putting the work in, the players that we have and, uh, you know, ultimately just doing what we, what we think we can do. And that's when games. There's been so much talk about your your team's quarterback situation, but their quarterback only has one start in the career, and he doesn't have a lot of experience. Do you do you guys have a good handle on what you think you're going to see from him? Oh man, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we you know you have your concepts that you you think that they can run, and your uh, personnel that you think they might possibly do. But at the end of the day, we got to stick true to uh, to our rules in the game, whatever the defense is. Whatever uh, Nick Rallis calls, we got to just play that at a high level. And, um, you know, he's a great QB, a, a guy who can, you know, throw the ball inside the pocket, outside the pocket, <clears throat> a guy who has a fast release, um, you know, young guy. So, you know, of course, you know, th there's things that we possibly might think we're going to see, but there's also things that are going to be unscouted looks that we've never seen before, you know. So um, we just got to stay true to our rules and um, just play football. Offense and practice is it a big difference than previous seasons. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, 
I would say so from a, you know, kind of a spread offense to more uh, NFL style, um, you know, defense, run the ball, pass, um, you know, drop back, play action. Um, you know, I would say it, it's a it's a little more different. QB is a little more under the center more compared to last year. It's kind of more just gun. So, uh, yeah, I would say it's different. Do you know how much important winning is to you? I could Bellevue, shoot. It's like you never lost. Eight state championships, right? For, for yeah. Five state championships, eight solo titles for you. Can you just talk about life at Bellevue and how crazy good that was? Oh, you want to talk about high school? Yeah, oh, man. I could, I could talk about high school. That was about, it's crazy, about 10 something years ago. But, um, yeah, I mean, in high school, we, we kind of just grinded. It was it was a huge grind um, over there in Bellevue, Washington. Uh, my head coach was named Butch Gontroft, and uh, Butch Gontroff, he was he was very intimidating. You know, he wasn't like an intimidating guy to look at or a guy that's like a buff dude. Or he's just like a kind of quiet, just never really talked, and was very rule based. Was very um, you know intentional on the little things and. You know, from then on, that definitely helped me. You know, we were in the wing tee, so I played both sides, offense and defense. And, you know, in the wing tee, there's a lot of fakes that you have to do. So in practice, we would have to fake, uh, we would have to fake about 25 yards after, even if you didn't have the ball. So I would run, act like I have the ball, and I'm running 25 yards. And this is every single play. And even to the, to the huddle, you know, we had to get to the huddle in a certain way, break the huddle in a certain way, get to the line in a certain time. And, you know, nothing was ever right, you know. We would be beating the team 60 to 7, and we'll watch film, and it will be fourth quarter, third down. We didn't get to the huddle fast enough. We didn't get down to the line fast enough, and we're, we're running gases for that. So it was like, <laughs> you know, it was it was something that, you know, kind of teach me the way to, to the way to work. Um, all the, you know, whether it's ups, whether it's downs for in high school, of course, there was a lot of us because we never lost a high school game. But if whether it was up, whether it's down, you, you put the work in, you grinded and a thing that I really liked was after winning the state championship, the next week all the players are in the weight room together, no coaches, and we're just grinding. And this is two days before after winning the state championship. So just, you know, that kind of just taught me to grind and just how to work, and I kind of stayed, stayed doing that. So. Can this team be a bunch of grinders like that? Yeah, I definitely think – I definitely believe so because the JG and the coaching staff, they do a great job of – um, you know, letting us work, you know, on the football field, whether that's in practice, whether that's in walkthrough or in meetings. He does a great job of, um, you know, honing in on the – telling us to hone in on the little details and um, just try to do everything the right way and to not just know what you're supposed to do but to know, know it, meaning that, you know, you might know the answer of a test and the teacher asks what the answer, answer is, and you kind of know it, but you don't really want to say it. And then someone else raises their hand and says what you were going to say, and then you're like, oh, okay, well, I knew that, right? So for JG, it's about no knowing it, like really understanding the intricate details of the defense or offense or special teams and knowing what we have to do. And after you know, no, it's a matter of just playing football at the end of the day and taking it one play at a time. And I definitely think that, uh, you know, he's going to, we're going to do that as a team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sean, he was a, uh, he was a corner um, slash safety back in, uh, uh, in college, he was a, a walk-on, really good guy, a guy we always can talk to. Um, you know, at the time, we, I didn't really know he did shoes yet. So, you know, I was just kind of talking to him as a friend. And, um, you know, as the years go by, of course, I, I see his social media. You know, he, he sends me some pictures of some, of some cleats or shoes. And I'm just like, man, you're very talented. So, you know, from then on, you know, I've I sent my cleats to him and have him do my cleats every year, and uh, he does a great job. But it's it's always cool to, you know, to see guys. You know, we were college teammates, and now he's developed his own kind of brand and and decorating sh shoes and cleats, and he does a great job at it. So, yeah, Sean V. You mentioned Nick. 
What, what's your take on, on him as he begins this first year as defensive coordinator? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Nick is a very smart guy. Um, you know, me, you know, with this being my my fourth coaching staff, I was able to kind of understand of you know BA staff a three three four system to Steve Wilkes to a four three system to VJ back to a three four system and to now this defense which is a little bit of you know a little bit of everything. So um, you know it's definitely very exciting to uh, you know to see the calls and see the plays and to understand the ins and outs of the defense. And Nick does a great job of letting us know exactly what he's thinking you know he'll he'll put it out you know second down you know one to four I'm thinking such and such these three four calls second down you know eight plus I'm thinking of these these certain calls and he expresses why he's thinking the calls and why um, he would be calling this because he thinks the offense is going to be doing this and um, you know at the end of the day we go back and hone in back on our rules but it's definitely um, you know very uh um, it kind of just takes a takes a, a weight off your shoulders in a sense of kind of just understanding like, all right, and this down and distance, he's going to pro- probably call these certain calls, and th- this is going to be my job in order to stop what the offense is trying to do. So um, he's a very smart guy. I know he's young. I always, you know, talk talk a little smack to him about how young he is, but he's very smart, and I'm very excited to uh, to uh, finally showcase. You know what? What we got on Sunday? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just like that hoodie. When you see that hoodie, it's like you know, cool, calm, and collective. He's always gonna be, um, you know, he's never gonna be a guy to shout and scream. He's he's very cool. He's very calm, um, and I definitely think that helps on a football field um, of just getting the call in um, from K White and then just playing playing football after that. And then on the sidelines, you know, coaches talk to each other about what what could of uh, they what could they have fixed within the details of the defense or within what the offense is doing. And then they come to us and um, you know we get the corrections from there. So, you know, I'm very excited. Do you prefer to have the DC on the sideline instead of up top? Yeah, I mean personally I've never had a DC uh, up top. So um, you know, I don't, I don't really know what that would feel like, but um, you know, I like having the defensive coordinator on the, on the, on the ground. Um, you know, nine times out of ten, I'm kind of with my position coach. I'm with the DBs. I'm with the corners, safeties, and we're sitting in our area designated areas. And then, uh, you know, our DB coaches come up to us and see the corrections we could have, you know, could have, um, you know, done. So, you know, I definitely like it him being on the sideline, but that's all I've had. So. Starting role opposite of Marco. What have you seen from the rookie and, and him getting the you know, first team reps and getting the start on Sunday? Yeah, yeah. From this whole rookie class, you know, uh, they're very mature, way more mature than I feel like um, other rookie classes have been. Um, you know, even my rookie class about seven years ago. Um, these guys are very, you know, they're they're they want to listen, they want to get better. Um, they want to work hard. They're very hard workers, and uh, Control's definitely one of those guys that puts the extra work in, uh, extra meeting in. Um, he'll talk to the, you know, of course, the safeties, uh, see what we see, of course, and um, you know, he's he's a guy who's very fast, has has a quick twitch, um, young, um, and I'm very excited to see what he can do on Sunday because he's been making plays, and uh, I'm excited to see him make more plays this season receivers he faces does he share that notebook with the dbs i mean we all should know that so i mean uh you know every every single time we we play uh, a team you know our coaches do a great job of uh you know having each and every receiver on on the film on the notebook or on the notes um what they like what they don't like um you know videos of guys in press guys playing off zone not zone, third down, second down, um, mixed down, two minute, red zone. Like we have all those um, things on the video and we, we talk about those in meetings, but of course we have to do a great job of watching film, you know, outside the meetings as well. And um, that's very, you know, exciting to know that he does that. Um, he should do that, him being a corner. So, uh, you know, that's just, you know, something where you don't have to tell a guy to do do that, you know, he's already a pro 
and uh, he's understanding what it is to be a pro, and he's going to continue to to get better each and every week. So excited for him. Anything can happen. One way or the other. I mean, is it more unusual that we always had a pretty good read, but it's hard for yeah. this team. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I don't know. What was your guys' reading after, you know, other coaching staffs? I don't know. I, For me, my, my same reading is to win games. You know, I, I step on the football field each and every week. I step in work each and every week wanting to win. So, of course, um, we grind throughout, this, throughout the week. And then on Sundays, that's our time to have fun and uh, our time to kind of show out who we, who we really are and, um, you know, I just feel like kind of the media, not saying you guys, but a lot of the outside media kind of just doesn't really know what's going on. You know, they just kind of see things um, maybe that the Cardinals post and they make their opinion off that, which is definitely okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And uh, my only job is to, you know, to care what my players think and, you know, to try to get those guys better. And of course, ultimately trying to be the best person, best player I can be each and every week. And uh, like I said, to win games. So, you know, it's definitely something where, you know, for me, it's, it's about winning the game. So um, that's going to be on our mind, you know, for the rest of the, the, rest of the season. <laughs> Do you find it at all unusual that you're still a relatively young guy, but you're one of the more, one of the oldest and yeah. more experienced guys on the Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely um it's cool, you know. I I feel like I'm young. I I feel like I'm, you know, the, the biggest I've ever been, the fastest I've ever been, uh strongest I've ever been, quickest I've ever been. I I feel amazing personally. Um 27 years old, feel great. Um our our team is is very young like you said. Um, the, but they're very smart. They're very professional-minded. Uh, JG does a great job of working on our psychological minds as well. Um, and you know, we're just all excited to just finally, uh, you know, play play a football game on Sunday. Of course, you know, I always think that. Um, me personally, you know, offenses kind of have done a good job of kind of going away from three. But uh, you know, this style of defense, I feel like they're gonna have to, uh, they're gonna kind of have to see me. You know, that's what that's kind of what I like to say. So um, you know, can't hide for long, and I'm very excited for the season, and um, you know, very excited to showcase what we got.